Hey hey everybody, my name is Sleepy Cat and today we're going to be playing Kind Words. Um, if you remember last time, we actually um, um, uh, got a few letters back um, that were uh, really helpful. Um, we wrote some letters and yeah. Uh, so, uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Someone sends their thanks for the letter you wrote. And... You got a new sticker! Oh, cake! Every, every day is someone's birthday. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, so... Let's go ahead and... First off, of course, let's go ahead and say some nice things. Um, well... I wrote... I hope y'all are having a nice day. Remember to smile, and if you can't, that's okay too. Just take a deep breath and remind yourself that everything will be okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and send. Folding paper, preparing for takeoff. Your good vibes are now flying through the air for everyone to catch. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and, oh, well, I accidentally made a request, so, uh, let's go ahead. Um, okay, I, I, um, I still have a problem with talking about my feelings, uh, but, um, I, I wrote, Lately I've been worried that things will turn for the bad, especially since things have been going so well. I haven't had any problems, and yet I stress over the fact that things, that since things are going well, they will soon turn from the worst. Um, and yeah, so send it. You wrote a request. I'll run this right over to the post office to be copied and sent all over the world. All set. It may take a little time for people to reply, but they may even send you a sticker. In the meantime, maybe write someone else a letter. Which is what I was trying to do. <laughs> but, uh, so let's go ahead. View requests. Okay, I'm not even going to try. But, okay, so it looks like... No, that... No. I... Okay. I... I don't understand this. I feel so bad because uh, I don't speak this. Okay, uh... Finally one I could read. Um, uh, uh, any artists out there? How do you improve without going to any art school? I've been self-teaching myself for a while, but and I feel like I haven't made much progress. Any tips? Okay, so, um, so this is from personal experience, um, I some, I, honestly, I stopped actually drawing, um, uh, many years ago, but that's, you know, a whole other story in another day, um, but, 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 this is what I ended up doing, um, and seeing my little sister, who, who, who loves drawing, um, what she does as well, um, so I wrote, hello, from, uh, uh, from what I've seen and have tried, uh, watching tutorials have definitely helped a lot. Not only is it because uh, I see different art styles, but I find the ones that are more suited to my taste and adjust to what I feel more comfortable with. Uh, it helps out a lot. And of course, a lot of practice is in order. The more you practice, the better you will eventually be. Take time to look at your past arts and see what you could have done then and adjust it. But uh, It takes time to see improvement, but keep trying. Uh, let's add a sticker. Uh, let's give a cake and put and send. Thank you for taking the time to think about a stranger. I'll rush this right over. I knew you'd keep writing people, but I'm sure they'll love this. Oh, hey, I discovered mid-century this morning. I was a bit stressed out about some things. 
but I put this on loop and washed all that away. Hopefully I'll have another sweet track for you tomorrow. Okay. Um, but every interaction I have on Tinder follows the same pattern. But I meet a woman, we talk for a while, maybe even for weeks, and then they just disappear. Doesn't matter the type of woman. I don't know why it happens. It's always a pleasant conversation. Okay. Um. So this is kind of like dating woman advice. Um. I don't. <laughs> Shocker. But I don't know much about dating. But um. What I do know is, is that there are a lot of um, people, men and women, um, that tend to go on these sites for ulterior motives. Um. In front of, from uh, from what I've seen, Tinder tends to uh, have that sort of reputation as well. Um, so if you're looking for a genuine, like, a genuine, genuine um, but, um, interaction with someone, um, it's best to do it in person, but don't come off as creepy. Um, you know, you gotta put yourself out there um, and uh, try to be a little bolder from from what I have seen um but obviously don't make her um or him uncomfortable you know um cat calling or anything like that is definitely is definitely not the way to go um you know being a dis decent human being you know it, it's tough to find the right person for you but in the end you know it takes time it takes patience um and so i think that's what um what, uh, we should tell z uh so let's go ahead and reply Um, uh, okay, so I wrote, uh, hello Z, but I just want to let you know that from what I'm reading, you sound like an individual who really wants a genuine partner, not temporary. But that is a difficult task for many people, not just yourself. However, it's difficult to find genuine partners in certain places like Tinder since many join for ulterior motives. Try other dating websites or apps, but, or better yet, try looking for someone in person. Don't be overwhelming or make the person uncomfortable. Compliment, but not too much. Keep trying. Be patient. The right person will come. Um, but let's go ahead and give this little guy and put and send. Thank you for taking the time to think about a stranger. But I'll wash things right over. You can count on me to deliver this letter. Okay, my Tinder jumped from having about 6 likes for a month to having 22 in a few days. But, but I still get basically 0 matches. Weird. I do only only I but I do only have one picture on it. Not sure if there's part of, that's part of the issue. I feel so god dang ugly, but all the time though. I don't even ha massively like the one I have. Okay, uh, Z, I believe I don't want to make assumptions, but if you are the person I just wrote to, um, that's okay. From my opinion, if I were to be using a dating app, um, it, having one picture is a little sketchy. Um, but, but don't think you're ugly because honestly, it's like that saying, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, you know, but, um, and I mean, if you got 22 likes in only a span of a few days, you know, that's awesome. Uh, um, 
I don't even get that many on my Instagram. <laughs> um, but I can't care less. I just have fun posting uh, pictures of Peppa. But, um, but anyways. Um, you know, if you need actual advice for being on Tinder, um, I, I believe there has to be like forums and to do's on online um but in my opinion if i were to use uh, uh, to use those sorts of apps yes use more pictures um you know and if you're not the type of person to like like take a bunch of selfies or you know pictures and stuff like that you know you don't you don't need to seem conceited, you know, you don't need to show parts, you know, that would probably make people feel uncomfortable. Um, it's, it, it takes time. And, um, you know, if, if, if you're afraid of, you know, putting yourself out there, you know, that, that is part of the process. So my advice is one, definitely use more pictures, but not too many. Um, not especially not the same like ones. You want to be in different places, you know. Like, um, it should basically take pictures of uh, and show them what kind of what uh, kind of person you are, you know. Um, so say for instance, you are someone who likes to paint. Uh, take a picture with your art. Um, if you're someone who, who enjoys um, hiking, you know, takes pictures of you hiking and post those. You know, it it's it's not just um, you know just a picture of your face. You want pictures of who you are. Uh, so uh, to reply to this, okay. Um, so I wrote, uh, uh, Hi Z, uh, my advice to you is yes, you do need more photos. Don't take condescending photos, but once you and once in a while, nice pictures of you would be great. However, take pictures of sh to show what, what kind of person you are. For example, take photos of you doing your hobbies or where you like to go. But, uh, show them the kind of person you are. Remember that beauty is in the eye of, eye of the beholder. You may not like how you look, but I'm sure there are people who definitely think you're their type. Keep trying and put yourself out there. Be genuine. Uh, let's go ahead and give... Let's give Yeti. Okay, let's, let's send. Thank you for taking the time to think about a stranger. I'll rush this right over. You can count on me to deliver this letter. Okay, so, uh, uh, I messed up my scholarship application, and so the institution is no longer accepting my application. I feel like I won't be able to get any scholarships at all, and it makes me feel like a failure. Okay. Um, enough dating advice. <laughs> but, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, write, uh, I guess what, maybe, maybe one more letter. Uh, so, to L. Okay, so, uh, to you, L, I wrote, uh, hello, coming from a college student, scholarships are not the only ways to earn funds for schooling. Always apply for FAFSA. But, uh, now, if you don't know, FAFSA is a um, financial aid service um, that uh, many institutes, uh, uh, institutions, universities, uh, community colleges, they, um, uh, they have. This is literally the government giving money for free but, um and you know apparently they there's thousands and thousands of dollars waiting for students to use this but, but uh, not many people or not many students really apply so this is literally free money um and not only that but like right here but, uh, if we continue you never know if you will earn grants and gain opportunities for work study um work study obviously as you work and that that work that you do um, normally at the college, um, it, it pays for your studies. Um, we are all humans and we make mistakes. Before I started college, I took an entire semester off to get myself in order to, and prepare myself. 
If you miss this opportunity, remember more will come. Keep searching. You are not a failure. Contact your counselor to see if they have any more advice for you. Smile. You're doing just fine. Uh, let's give them a cake uh, to kind of like congratulate them. Because uh, 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 it, it sounds like they um, graduated. Uh, here you go. And, uh, and send. Thank you for taking the time to think about a stranger. I'll rush this right over. You can count on me to deliver this letter. Okay, so let's go ahead. Someone sends their thanks for the letter you wrote. And... You got a new sticker! Oh, it's a kitten plunk! Winged kittens? Why are they not a thing? You got a letter. Someone wrote you a letter. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got a few of them. Okay. Uh, so this is from today's. So from B. Uh, dear S, I can absolutely understand that feeling. We can't control the flow of life anyway, so we should stop anticipating the bad. What is bound to happen will always happen. There will still be plenty of time um, to do, deal, uh, deal with it when it happens. For now, just focus on the good and calm times. Enjoy it and take it all in. You never know what is waiting ahead, so don't waste your precious time on thinking about what you could possibly happen. But, um, but instead, focus on what is happening right now. That's true. I, I, I do uh, listen to this one. Sending your things now. Then uh, I bet they'll love the sticker. Um, yeah, no, it's like that that quote that funny out of uh, I got from Kung Fu Panda. Um, from the uh, turtle, uh, where he said, uh, "The past is history, the future is a mystery, but today is a gift. That's why they call it present." Um. And I need to always try to remind myself that, but because uh, like I said earlier, I get very anxious because I tend to feel like something bad is going to happen because things are going well, but then it makes me panic. But thank you, B, for um, your letter of encouragement. Um, what's the next one? Okay, so let's open. You got a new sticker, Cookie needs a mug mug. Oh. Uh, I feel this a lot. Lately, to combat this feeling, I've been trying to remind myself that as much as you feel like things good will go bad, it's just as valid uh, uh, to think about things going, continuing to go well. Uh, it's okay uh, It's okay to allow yourself to think about the good aspects of things but instead of bracing for the bad. S. Oh, thank you. That, that is nice. That's true. I do need to remind myself that. Uh, let's give... They gave me a cookie, so I'm gonna give them a cake because they're sweet like cake. Uh, done. I I'll bet they love the sticker. Uh, next. Uh, one more. Okay. You got a new sticker, penguin. For sure, up to something. Oh uh, yeah, that penguin looks a little suspicious. There's a stoic exercise called negative visualization. Vis visualization. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, you do what you're doing, imagining things getting bad. Instead of worrying about it because that's the way life is, you cherish what you have now and be grateful for them. However, there's another exercise called the views from above, where you reflect upon how small we are in this universe and how small our problems really are as well. Good luck and I hope this helps. Aw, oh, thank you. That was so nice. Uh, let's go ahead and give him a bunny. Uh, sending your thanks now. Then, but I bet they'll love the sticker. Oh, that was so sweet. Someone sends their thanks for the letter you wrote. And you got a new sticker, Robot Cubes. They light up whenever girls walk by, and vice versa. <laughs> Aww. Okay, oh well, that was nice. Let's read this now. 
You're perfect the way you are. Don't let others take you down. Just because they don't like you, you got this. Aw, that's amazing. Um, I think that's gonna be it for today. Um, but I, but I really enjoyed, um, you know, this game so much. I, I enjoy how receiving letters, get sending letters, getting stickers, you know, all of that stuff. It's really, it's, it's really amazing. I'm having a lot of fun doing it, and I hope y'all are too. Um, so thank y'all guys so much for watching. But uh, remember, press like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. But 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 bye bye.